Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. We are on our 19th day of Hidden Figures, and I am very pleased to announce that today's Hidden Figure is going to be Norma Merrick Sklarek, who was born April 15th, 1926, and died February 6th, 2012. She was a pioneering African-American architect. Sklarek was the third black woman to be licensed as an architect in the United States after Georgia Louise Harris Brown and Beverly Lorraine Green. She was the first woman to become a licensed architect in the states of New York and later the first woman to be licensed in the state of California. She remained the only licensed black woman in California until 1980 and she has been called the Rosa Parks of architecture. Norma Merrick was born on April 15, 1926 in Harlem, New York. She was the only child of Dr. Walter Ernest Merrick and Amy Willoughby. Her father was a 1935 Howard University graduate practicing medicine and her mother was a seamstress. She grew up in Crown Heights, Brooklyn and remembered that her parents told her that things that are worthwhile and from which one receives great satisfaction are never easy but require perseverance and hard work. During the Great Depression, her father taught her carpentry skills and suggested she become an architect. Sklarek attended Hunter College High School and Barnard College in New York before receiving her architecture degree in 1950 from Columbia University School of Architecture. She was one of only two women in her graduating class. After she attained her license in 1954, she worked at a small private firm and starting in 1955, she worked for five years at Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill. While working at SOM, she taught two nights a week at City College of New York. In 1960, Sklorek moved to California after accepting the position of first female vice president for Gruen and Associates in Los Angeles, where she worked for two decades. In 1966, she became the firm's first female and first African-American director. She was responsible for coordinating the technical aspects of several major projects, including the California Mart, the Pacific Design Center, the Fox Hills Mall, San Bernardino City Hall, the Leo Beck Temple, and the Embassy of United States in Tokyo. From 1980 to 1985, Sklarek worked at Walton Beckett Associates, where she directed the construction for Terminal 1 at the Los Angeles International Airport. So if you ever fly out of Terminal 1 at LAX, a black woman designed that shit. Sklarek was the project director for the $50 million project, and Terminal 1 was completed in January 1984 well ahead of the millions of tourists that were expected for that summer's Olympics. Sklarek then became the first black woman to be elected a fellow of the American Institute of Architects in 1980. In 1985, she co-founded Siegel, Sklarek, and Diamond with Margaret Siegel and Catherine Diamond, and the firm was the largest woman-owned architecture firm at the time. Siegel, Sklarek, and Diamond put out proposals on five projects and won all five commissions, which was unheard of. Wishing to work on larger projects, she left Siegel, Sklarek, and Diamond in 1989 and joined the John Jared Partnership as a principal until her retirement in 1992. Following her retirement, she was appointed by the governor to serve on the California Architects Board. She also served for several years as chair of the AIA's National Ethics Council. She died of heart failure on February 6, 2012 in Pacific Palisades, California, at the age of 85. A former president of the American Institute of Architects said of her, she was capable of doing anything. She was the complete architect. Norma Merrick Sklarek, a hidden figure. Nice quick one. Hopefully you guys are staying warm if you live somewhere where it's cold because it is like so fucking cold. Um, we're so far through the month, I can't believe it that tomorrow is like the 20th and there will only be eight days of hidden figures left. Like, where does the time go? Um, hopefully, as always, you guys have been enjoying these. Um, there will be links in the description box. Food for that as always. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.